to wait for the Mir's shuttle to get to Caribbean Beach. Super easy to check in, just scan a QR code and we're all set. It's nice that each little like little section of the resort has their own bus stop, so that's actually really cool. Wow. Oh wow, I didn't even see the toy soldiers. That is so cool. are officially in Magic Kingdom. I just stopped and got a coffee, which I've never been in the line at Magic Kingdom um, for the Starbucks there. It's crazy. They have somebody sitting out front like directing traffic basically. Um, but let me see if I can get this to, yeah, there you go. See the castle a little bit better. Um, just had a picture taken in front of the castle and now I'm gonna see if there's any cheeseburger spring rolls. I have not had one yet and I'm really excited so I'm gonna try that out. So let's see if there's any over at the spring roll cart. All right, so I just got the peanut butter M&M churros. I tried to get the spring cheeseburger spring rolls but no go today, but I'm gonna try this out. So it's very good, it's very warm. Um, it's peanut butter M&M's. So like that right there makes me amazing because I don't like peanut M&M's so it's really excited about that. So yep. So just got to Hollywood Studios. Um, was only at Magic Kingdom for a couple hours, like two hours I think. Um, it was so crazy though. So um, when we were here in February, um, one of the Disney photographers, her name is Kendall, she took pictures of like the proposal and everything. And like, it's like a play by play. It's, it's really cool. And as I'm walking out of Magic Kingdom, I kid you not, she's standing there taking pictures. So I had to go say hi and like I was able to take a selfie with her. And she said she remembered me and it was just a really cool experience. So like, if you see a cast member that you've seen before, like go say hi, they're so nice and so sweet. And like, they do remember, <laughs> it's actually really cool. Um, but now we're going to Hollywood Studios. Um, I have an Ogus Cantina reservation tonight and I'm gonna get an outer rim margarita because it's my favorite. And then I'll take the Skyliner back to Caribbean Beach. So it'll be a, a full afternoon. After spending um, the earlier half of the afternoon at Magic Kingdom, I forgot that Disney actually does have drinks in the parks. Because Magic Kingdom is the only one that you can't just like get a drink and walk around with. Um, this is a Blackberry Moonshine Lemonade and it's delicious. It's from Sunshine Day Bar on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood Studios and I highly recommend it. Now in Batu. Hello. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, look at all the little animals.
So, I guess got some green milk. And apparently the proper greeting at this time of night is rising moons here in Batu. Um, so rising moons. And I got the green milk with tequila. The blue milk has rum in it, but I like tequila better, so I usually get the green milk. And I'm just gonna have this until I'm waiting for my Ogus Cantina reservation. Um, I'm not sure what's going on over here, but sounds like some evil is coming or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go check it out. So we have here, but I don't think I've ever seen this open before. But if you listen, Millennium Falcon over here, and then when we come this way, we got this, which is Ogus Cantina, which if you didn't know where it was, you kind of could miss it. I will be going there in probably like 30 minutes, I have a reservation. things about having like a late night Oga's Cantina reservation is coming through all of the rest of Hollywood Studios with just nobody around. Our reservation was at, and I mean ours, I mean mine, was at 8.30. You're supposed to get 45 minutes in Oga's and I'm like just leaving now, it's 9.45. So they... <laughs> They say 45 minutes, but I think at the end of the night, they don't necessarily care quite as much. But like, look how empty this is. It is just so amazing. I'm really liking these like shooting stars that come off of the lampposts. And I'm honestly not able to remember if those are always there and I just now see them because they're lit up or what? Oh. You can see. Let's walk down this way. Tower of Terror, lit up at night, looks so cool. They'll probably make us turn around because the park's definitely closed by now. But if we can go and look at the lights and everything, look at these stars. Yeah, as long as we get to here. Isn't that cool? So cool. Day one here at Disney is complete. I am exhausted and I literally was only in the parks from 5 to 10. So like 5 hours and I'm exhausted. I mean granted I had a travel day but it's tiring. It's very tiring. Um, but I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night. Thanks for following on the first day of this trip. 
Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. So we'll see you next time.